And this is uh, another piece that I did at Genesis recently. She sits. Hood pulled up overhead, wishes she was still in bed, dreads another mundane day, and plugs in. Now she sits and bites skin around chewed fingernails, fails to get past level 47 on his phone, shit, and bones sink into tube seats blue, plugs in. They watch. Winds of change stripping branches bare, making once luscious green beasts look strange, carelessly strewn carcasses across pavements grey. Winds of such change, but we all seemingly stayed the same. Daydreaming out of smeared, graffitied windows. Now she knew someone who used their commutes to learn code. He attempted this adultness expected, but his spine bowed. So loads another episode of voluntary lobotomizing nothingness onto his phone. She was made of elbows. Softness shoehorned into metal pencil sharpeners, grated and carved into harsh points and corners, enforced borders, since patriarchal orders no longer serve the sanctity of her land nor her body. A shoddy excuse for a compliment. Prominent incompetence to hold up a humane level of respect for a body's own autonomy, hood up to blend in. Don't stare at me. Plugged in. To blend in, don't stare at me. Head down silently. Despite commuter's shove, she maintained an invisibility by avoiding seeming bold or pushy till thick hand reaches out and grabs her by the pussy and he looks the other way and plugs in. When she roars, get your hands off me, please. He looks the other way and plugs in. When he spat, spits the word slut into her face, branding her in bitter taste, displays aggression that's become commonplace, no trace of acknowledgement nor pity in that shared space, he looks the other way and plugs in. See, this claim there's no need for feminism is a criticism wearing thin. Because no matter how sharp our points and corners are, I know the trump card always wins.